Hi, I'm Jim Powers, and I work on Activator for TypeSafe. I would like to demonstrate the new partner integration for production monitoring features available on Activator 126. Currently, the partners that we support are App Dynamics, which supports any Java application, or New Relic, which supports Play applications. So let's get started. After you install Activator, simply instantiate one of the Activator templates. I've already pre-instantiated Reactive Stocks, so let's open it. After you open your template, you'll notice a new option on the left-hand side called Monitor. By clicking on Monitor, you'll see you have access to App Dynamics or New Relic for production monitoring. We're going to take a look at New Relic first. In order to get started with New Relic, you have to download the agent and supply your developer key. Clicking on Download begins downloading the agent in the background. In order to get a developer key, you can either sign up for a new account right here from Activator or log into an existing account. I'm going to go into an existing account in this case. In order to get your key, you go to your Applications dashboard and you choose Add New Application. After you do that, you will see a screen that looks like this. Click on Reveal Your License Key and this will display your license key on the screen. Simply copy and paste that key into the License Key field in Activator. You've now initialized New Relic to work with any Play application. In order to trace Play applications, you have to enable it for each one. You do that in the Run tab. By clicking on Run, you'll see that there's a new option on the left-hand side here called Enable New Relic. By clicking on Enable New Relic, Activator will generate a new relic.yaml file in the project and copy the new relic jar file into the lib folder in your project. You can find these by browsing the code. Under conf, you'll find new, new relic.yaml. This file has been pre-processed to contain your developer key, and we've pre-generated names for your application in various environments. Under lib, you'll find new relic.jar. Going back to the run tab, we'll see that new relic has been enabled and the application has been restarted. If we open up the application and generate some traffic, we should see when we go to our New Relic dashboard that our new application has begun to send data to New Relic for processing. In this case, reactive stocks. Development is the environment that is selected when you run within Activator. By clicking on the application name, this opens up the application dashboard. After several minutes, the data sent from your application will be processed by New Relic's servers, and you'll see your analytic data displayed on this screen. As you can see, the data from your application is now showing up in New Relic's dashboard for your application. That's how easy it is to get started with New Relic from Activator. Next, we will take a look at App Dynamics. After returning to Activator, click on the Monitor tab again. Choose Change Provider from the New Relic screen and choose App Dynamics. App Dynamics configuration is entirely handled on this screen. There is no generated config file for you for App Dynamics. App Dynamics requires you to have an account to download their agent. And when you set up your account, you can set up your SAS endpoint in order to be able to do hosted analysis of your tracing data. You can also use the local collector available from App Dynamics if you wish to. You simply have to fill out the configuration to point to your local collector. I'm going to provide the information to download the agent here. And while it's downloading, I will provide the SAS endpoint information for my account. In order to get your access key, which is the equivalent of the developer license key in New Relic, you have to go to your App Dynamics. App Dynamics dashboard, there is a settings wheel in the upper right hand side. Choose that and then choose license. From there, you can find your access key on the license page. Simply copy that and paste that into your activator form here and choose Save Config. You're now all ready to go with App Dynamics. 
when you go to the run tab you'll see that app dynamics has been provided as an option for tracing your application it doesn't need to be enabled because everything that you needed to configure it was already done on that one screen. When you choose App Dynamics, you'll see a bunch of log information indicating that the App Dynamics agent has started, the application has been stopped, and will be restarted using the App Dynamics tracing agent. After a few seconds, your application will be restarted and begin to send telemetry data to the App Dynamics server. I'll reopen a new window. This application is now being traced using the AppDynamics tracing agent, and that data is being sent to AppDynamics servers for analysis. Let's generate some traffic. I'll go back to my AppDynamics dashboard, and if I click on Home, I see my Reactive Stocks application has begun to send data to AppDynamic servers for analysis. I'll open it up. When I take when I open up the node, which happens to be my laptop, initial agent status will be down. This is because the telemetry data has not yet been processed by AppDynamic servers yet. However, if I wait a few moments, the agent will go into the upstate. You can now see that the monitoring agent has gone into its upstate. This means that telemetry data from your application has been received and processed by AppDynamic servers. Now, at this point, you can explore the other statistics available from AppDynamics in order to monitor the health of your application. Returning to Activator, we can see that we're still running with the AppDynamics instrumentation. If you wish to return to Local Inspect instrumentation, simply click on the radio button next to inspect. This will turn on the local inspector again and you're back to being able to inspect the health of your application using the local inspector tools. If we reopen the application, and generate some traffic, you'll notice that the inspect tab should now show some activity for actors and requests. When you're running with a third-party monitoring option, such as AppDynamics or New Relic, the local inspector will not work. As you can see, it has been disabled while third-party monitoring is in use. This shows you how easy it is to get started with production monitoring from within Activator using AppDynamics and New Relic. We hope to bring you more production monitoring options as time goes by. Thank you for your attention.